I mean, you think about the fact that Ovid, Ovid's the example I'll latch on to, even though he's hardly the only one, but, you know, he writes the Metamorphoses thousands of years ago, and still is so, so influential in, you know, art and, and theater and um, just really all kinds of, of modes of storytelling. It's hard to imagine that something today, you know, exists that 2,000 years from now, people will point to you in the same way that we point back to Ovid. 2,000 years from now, would people be pointing back to Ovid still? I don't know about that. I'm not convinced they wouldn't be. Also not convinced that there's going to be anyone in 2,000 years. Who the hell knows how that's going to spin out. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's, there's something that... And I realize all of my examples are skewing Roman because I took Latin much, much longer than I took Greek. Um, but there's something about, you know, the way that the ancient world worked. Um, maybe they're in the right place at the right time. Maybe they just did it, you know, first slash best. Uh, but they got something right because they continue to exercise such a strong grip over the the you know consciousness i think that we have now at least certainly culturally um i mean you can certainly make the argument politically as well um there are a lot of ways that we are ignoring how things played out back then politically but it's fascinating the way that we we connect back with with that world um, and that's something that I've always been interested in understanding in some way I wouldn't necessarily say more um, but there's a I guess there's an extra layer on it I mean, I guess if we're going to then, that would be certainly more in a very literal sense. I don't, I don't want to, you know, poo-poo the, the idea of approaching something and not knowing where it fully comes from and understanding the lineage. Um, but I definitely, for me, there's definitely the experience of seeing something and understanding what tradition it's a part of um, is, is something that adds to the experience. Um, that's, I think, something that, you know, when you're dealing with art history and you're trying to put things into movements and you're trying to establish those lineages um, or you know, literary movements and um, the the context for me is something that's important. Um, it helps me understand the the work in a way that I find more satisfying. There's probably a joy to experiencing things at face value. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the the I guess paradox here is that we can never know what the opposite of our experience is um, but you know I'm sure that there's there's a argument to be made for approaching something with sort of that unadulterated um, you know purity of connection um, but I, I always care about the context and um, being able to see something uh, as part of the bigger picture. Um, the meta text, as some might say. Um, 
I don't know. That that does add something to it for me. I can't really say what that something is. That's the, I guess, abstract part where without knowing what you get without that, how, how can you say what it is you're getting? Um, but I don't know. <laughs>